Good morning and welcome to another episode of Better Images here with JP at Websites for Beginners. Originally, for this week's episode, I had intended to continue on what we did last week to show you why sometimes you can set an image resolution to a fixed amount and it will stay the same for whatever monitor display you use. And then especially for Euro images, why you will need to think of a bigger resolution. Because as the monitor gets bigger, the image actually stretches. But we're not going to look at that today. And the reason for that is that I know Topaz Labs, they released recently a new software app called Topaz Mask AI. And I want to show you a little bit about that today. And the reason why I'm delaying the other episode and bringing this one forward is because they've got a special going. And if you're interested, you can go and try it. Follow the link in the description below and you will see what this is all about. So let's have a look at what Topaz Mask AI is all about. And in my dark humor mood this Sunday morning, I've decided to make this short, quick page here on a clinic that, or rather a surgery that makes you feel like it's a holiday and you never want to go home. The question here is, look at these two images, the one of the doctor over here and then the one of the lemons over here. And the difference between these two is that the one has got a cut out background. You see, here is my image. If I click on her, you can see the bounding box. So we have a transparent background, whereas with the lemons, we don't. And I know you often sit and think, oh, I would have loved to have a transparent background for this. Maybe you don't know how to use Photoshop. Maybe you don't want to spend the money on Photoshop or Affinity Photo. And maybe, you know, it just takes too much time to learn and you've got other things to do. And that is why I want to show you today Topaz Mask AI and how quickly that can be done. I'll open my Topaz Mask AI down here. And before I get into this, let me just quickly give you a rundown on Topaz Mask. It's from a company called Topaz Labs, and you would have seen in previous episodes, I've used some of their software, Topaz Studio, and the other one, Topaz Gigapixel AI. And this is another one of their plugins called Topaz Mask AI. And what Mask AI allows you to do is to take an image like this and then make a selection, three easy steps, and then you can cut out certain areas very, very easily. I'll have a link for you in the description below and you can go have a more thorough read through on this page what it exactly does. But I think after you've seen what I'm going to do with the few images that I have here, it's not going to be rocket science for you as to what to do. And the reason this is one of the software I would recommend if you are interested in this is because it is so intuitive. Now I've got these three images. Let's look at them. I've got the doctor, but when you download this photo from a stock site, you're going to get a background like a wall or any kind of color. I want the background to be transparent. Same here, I've got this little lion cup and again, I want to just have the lion cup. I don't want the background. And here I have an apple. This is also very standard stock photo. Again, the problem is with the stock photo, you get a JPEG, which means you get a white background. Even if the graphic designer had given you this apple with a transparent background, the stock photo sites hardly ever give you that transparent background. So you will need to go into Photoshop or Affinity Photo and you will need to bring in that transparency and selection by yourself. We are going to do that. And all I'm going to do here, let's start with our doctor. Doctor, click and drag her in here. And you will see it starts with a red matte overlay. Now for this first photo, just look at what I do. Step one is you want to select the outline of the image that you want to keep. And by default, your cursor is going to be, and by default, your cursor is going to be this circle with blue in the middle. It's blue purple. What you do is you go and you start dragging by clicking and holding it in around the outline of our good friend, the doctor. And what you see here is that nothing is perfect. I'm just going very roughly. You have blue on this side and you have blue on that side. And the purpose of this blue is to tell the program which is the area that is going to be the border between what you want to keep and what you want to throw away. 
what you want to throw away is red and the red map is by default applied so you don't have to do that what we need to keep in here is going to be green over here on the right you go to the sidebar and you will see the green over here you've got two options one is a brush which is what I've done here with this one and the other one is a full bucket so you don't need to go and carefully let's do that like do this now I have to brush it in instead of that you just grab the fill bucket and you click here and it will fill it automatically for you how many steps so far two step one we drew the outline in this blue purple step two is we fill the area with green that we want to keep step three you go here and you click on compute mask and now the AI is going to drink a lot of coffee and think about this and do a lot of processing it can take a little while and then it's going to give you that mask that is your before and that is your after pretty neat right let's zoom in and what I do to zoom is I just scroll with my mouse just to show you the edges and then up here in the top right hand corner I have a navigation window to show you how good this had been done and remember how many clicks you had to do three clicks that is how good it is now you can refine you see here we have a little bit of haziness what you can do you go to this option called the edge because this is the edge of your mask and you can play around here a little bit with these settings to see if you can make that edge a little bit more prominent I increase the hardness by doing that edge strength no that one I don't want and then the edge shift is going to add a little bit to the mask if you go to the right or it's going to cut out a little bit of the mask that is usually very good for hair so let's take it to her hair you can see the hair is very smooth now a little too hard so the edge shift is a little bit too surgical pardon the pun and you can also apply what kind of background do you want here do you want blur do you want a color or do you want the image just to see how it's going to look let's put it back on mask and I'll fit it again just so that you can see how quickly we had done this mask piece of advice and this was a huge mistake I had made at the beginning when you are going to do this mask use the biggest highest resolution image you can find I had gone through my normal process first I applied the crop and then I resized my photo and then I brought it into Topaz Mask AI and I didn't get good results and with that I also want to add no software is ever going to give you 100% results the AI is not there yet Skynet is on the way but not yet we will get there soon and Topaz Mask AI is no different sometimes it's going to work sometimes it's not going to work but the first piece of advice I want to give you make sure you play with high resolution images if you work with a thumbnail like 300 pixels by 300 pixels it's a no-go because actually when you work with those small images you don't have very clear defined lines what you think is a line is actually a blurring of shades and tints of a pixel and in the end when you bring it into Topaz Mask AI it's going to try and give you a good mask it's not going to succeed let's do two more images I grab the Apple this time we bring it in and again you see the red mask is applied to it and by default my cursor turns to this purple selector again make sure the reticule you see that little cross thing in the middle that is where you want to draw and you draw all around the line and you see how quick I'm going right and now the red is what you don't want and the area you do want you have to apply green so I go to my fill bucket click on green and click on that step three compute mask look at that Sally look at that are we impressed again the edge a little too soft so if we go again into our edge settings you can bring in edge hardness and you can also shift it a little bit and it looks much more presentable let's fit it one more feature I want to show you here is the auto mask so what I'll do is I go up here to reset and I say reset to compute 
that gives us the original. Why is it blue? So reset to compute, reset to cut. Okay, that gives us the red mat. Over here, in the right sidebar, you will see it says auto. If I click on it, it is going to look for an object. You select detect objects and apply the mask automatically. The software, in my opinion, who can do that the best at this moment is Photoshop. I've not seen other software come close to what Photoshop can do. So the auto detect, you can see if we click here on compute mask, this is going to be one balls up. So go for, yeah, unless that is exactly what you wanted, which in this case is a big no-no. The last image, let's talk about hair because hair is always a huge issue when it comes to masking. Here I have the lion cup and let's go through the three steps. Make your selection by drawing on the outline of the object that you want to keep and make sure all the hair is within that purple area. Step two, fill the area you want to keep with green. Step three, compute the mask. And this is going to impress you. Look carefully at that image. Let's go look here at the ears. You see a little bit of areas there that it has trouble with. But look at this amazing job Topaz Mask had done here. If you ever need to apply a mask or have something with a transparent background for your website and you don't have Photoshop and you don't want to spend the money on Adobe Creative Cloud, well, you've got to spend money in the end. You can go and try out Topaz Mask AI. It's going to do a very bang on job. It's not going to give you all that great control that you would get in Photoshop but it's going to do a pretty decent job. Just look at this line cup and be amazed. And the reason why I decided to do this today is because they've got a special going on for the release of Topaz Mask AI. Follow the link in the description below and you will see you get $30 off for the software at the moment. Yeah, think again about the fact whether you're ever going to use it. Play around with it. There's a trial that you can download See if it works for you. See if it's something that you would like to have in your tool set up. Because if you have especially a one-man show, you may have a CEO executive that comes to you and says, I want to have something like this. I want to stand with my arms crossed and I want to span across two sections. You see, we've got two borders here and I want the image to look like this. I don't want a white background or any other kind of background for that matter then let the red light or rather the green light in your head let it go on and remember topaz mask ai well this is the end of this week's episode for better images every week in this show we just look at something that you can do with your images with the focus on website design maybe you get your images already from designers who have it prepared for you in that case you are a lucky one if you do everything by yourself and you work with clients, you know sometimes they give you really the worst that you can expect. And then you will need to upgrade that image a little bit, make it larger, make it cleaner, or even cut it out, like in this case with Topaz Mask AI. We feature a lot of software here, and I always show the icons here at the bottom in my taskbar to remind people I am not one of those that are loyal to any kind of software. And often when I'm working with a software, I'll get a comment and the person will say, hey, have you tried this one or I use this one? And I'm like, oh, great. I get so giddy just thinking that there is something else that I can go and try. Of course, there's a downside to that. If you work with too much software, you never get to know any one of them very, very well. It's a jack of all trades, master of none. But on the other hand, there's joy in having all those toys to play with. Until next week, then here on Better Images, see you next time.